Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to use Stable Diffusion model Realistic Vision to create an outstanding realistic AI images. So today I'm going to be demonstrating version 4 and version 2 and I'm going to be comparing and contrasting the differences between the two images. So I'll show you how different they are in terms of the image that they can generate. So yeah, without further ado, let's try to open our Google Colab. Okay, and then I'm going to upload a file. This is for loading safe tensors. Yeah, because I already have here version 2, 3, and 4. Uh, this time again, we're going 2 and 4. Uh, I'm going to be uploading it using my Google Drive. So let's close that one and then let's mount here. Connect to Google Drive. Alright, mounted at Google Drive. Now let's try to open it. So we have our drive. And then I have it here in Save Tensors folder. Alright, I'm gonna scroll down. And then I'm just gonna change this one to the path. So version 2 first. So I'm gonna put it here. And then I'm also gonna copy version 4. So let's put you here. And then let's delete this one in order for it to be active. Okay, now that we are ready, we're going to run it and we're going to wait for it to run. Now that we are now running on public URL, let's open it. All right, and then let's try to see the checkpoint. We have version 2 and version 4, so let's open the version 2 first. Now earlier, I actually have found some images here and this one. All right, so I'm going to try to do this one and we're going to just replace the character. So let's see if we can recreate image as good as that. So version two first, and then we're going to go back, copy the negative prompt. Okay, here. Now, instead of Joaquin Phoenix, I am going to change Joaquin Phoenix to Johnny Depp. I'm actually interested in how Johnny Depp would turn out as a Joker. So there you go. Let's increase the height a little bit. Okay, there, that should be enough. And then let's try to generate. So I've increased the height in order for us to get some sort of portrait image. Hmm, nice. Okay, so we have here Johnny Depp. Uh, let's try to open it in a new tab and then we're going to do a comparison later. And then we're going to move on to version 4. Okay, there you go. And then we're going to try to generate again. So take note that I've not changed anything here. I just changed the version of the safe tensors that I'm using. Oh, wow. That's wow. That's great. So let's open it again. And then we're going to put that there. And then you as well in another. Wow. See, now we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison. That's amazing. So if you can see here for the version 2, this is the version 2, by the way. So for the version 2, you can see here the, the, the hair. Seems like the hair is more unlike in the drawn side. And for the version 4, however, you can see here a lot of details. Seems like we really are seeing like real hair of a person. So a little bit blurry here instead of having more details. And on this side though, yeah, you can, there's still a little bit, a little bit of blur, but you can see here details uh, as well as this one. Okay. Now, another thing that I think we're going to notice is the texture. So you will see here fine lines. Uh, here, yes, you still see it, but it seems like it's more, uh, I don't know, kind of like a drawn picture. Or painted picture so that's the way I see it the face as well is different so version 2's take on it is you know a little bit more whitish however version 4 you can see here the there are more skins that we can see hmm and yeah that's about it so apart from people I actually want to do something like this I want to create uh, something like this uh, something that happens in the real life so let's try to copy this one 
and then we're going to start with version 4. Right, and then we're going to try to generate one. Um, okay, let's try um, street. Uh, crowded street. Let's try to add something. I don't see a lot of people in there. I don't think that's how you spell it. Mm. Okay, let's try to generate one more time. That's nice. Alright, let's try to open this in a new tab. And then let's try doing the same thing with version 2. Okay, generate. Okay, now that's nice. Okay, let's try to open this in a new tab. Okay, again, this is the version 4. Let's try to put it here, version 4. And then the other one is uh, the version 2. Okay, there you go. So now that's a big difference. Yeah, big difference. So if you are going to see here, there's still cars in this one, but uh, the cars are not that realistic, I must say. And then here, I don't know why it's light, but yeah, there's light here coming out from here. And then it seems like it's more on like animated. However, it is good though. Uh, the color for the version 2, on the other hand, Color for the version 2, I think it's not that good, not that ideal. For the version 4, however, yes, color correction, that's amazing. Color choices, mm -hmm. very good, very good. Very good colors here. Yeah, you can see that it really is night. And then you can also see here reflections. Mm, here there are still reflections, but uh, it's not that much. So yeah, that's how you're going to use Stable Diffusion Model Realistic Vision in order to create an outstanding and realistic AI images. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this tutorial.